For at TV, the world is thinking. New York Times review of your new book um, asked a question. Why, if a majority of Americans are liberal at heart, only a minority identify themselves as liberals? Yeah, well, that's why I wrote the book. And, and the reason is, is because uh, there's been an enormous investment of hundreds of millions of dollars by conservative foundations and conservative billionaires and aided and abetted uh, and propagated by the mainstream media to devalue and dishonor and delegitimate the term liberal. And for a long time, I couldn't figure out why they spent so much time on the word liberal and ignored the word progressive. Because actually, right now, if you're an American politician and you call yourself a liberal, you have automatic about 22% support. If you say you're a progressive, you shoots up to 41. Mm -hmm. But the reason is, is because there are all of these positions that Americans embrace, uh, universal health care, uh, strong environmental policy, uh, higher taxes on the rich, uh, much more cooperative foreign policy, uh, much more attention to scientific knowledge as opposed to religious restrictions on scientific knowledges, most obviously with regard to stem cells. Um, and the like, um, abortion too, uh, that are taken off the table uh, in political debate because of their association with this hard term, this scary term, liberal. But in fact, they're, they're not just majority positions, they're super majority positions. And it's my argument that if we can rejuvenate, re-honor, and refill this word liberal uh, with what it has meant historically in the past and still means to me today, we can break this log jam and, and have the liberal country that Americans say they want. So if today on the news someone asked point blank, Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama, are you a liberal, what are their answers and why? Well, they, they would say no. They do say no. There was articles, uh, I, you know, I don't know when uh, you, my good friend and viewer, are watching this, but uh, on the day I'm taping this, there's a front page article in the Washington Post about whether or not it's possible for Barack Obama to win as a liberal, and the same article roughly appeared in the New York Times yesterday. Um, and they run away from the label, uh, just as every single presidential aspirant has done since John Kennedy did, uh, since John Kennedy ran in 1960. John Kennedy didn't run away from the label. John Kennedy, speaking to the New York Liberal Party in September 1960, said, if by liberal you mean all these horrible things, then of course I'm not a liberal. But if by liberal you mean, and then he defined what at that time and place liberalism meant to him, he said, then I'm proud to call myself a liberal. And maybe Kennedy felt like he lived in a time where he would have enough time to make that explanation, and we don't live in one like that today. And that's why Obama, et cetera, is unwilling to do it. I wrote a column in The Nation uh, asking Obama to do this. You know, I, made, I gave him the Kennedy quote. I thought it would be useful. Uh, and I wasn't doing it for Obama's sake. I was doing it for the sake of liberalism and for the sake of what I believe is breaking this logjam around this term. Um, but, uh, you, know, I, I, you know, I'm not running for anything, but I'm proud to call myself a liberal. For, for the longest time, every American politician wanted to call themselves liberals. Richard Nixon called himself a liberal. Dwight Eisenhower called himself a liberal. Joseph McCarthy said nice things about liberals while he was trying to put them in jail, you know. Uh, he, he was saying they had betrayed liberalism, but uh, if he could only find a good liberal, he'd, he'd be really happy. Uh, so it was a term that everyone wanted to be associated with before this enormous campaign of uh, vilification and vituperation was instituted by the right. And as I said, if the media, if the people in the media would simply take a look at what the American people believe, according to poll after poll, and I, I looked at a series of polling data that is, goes way back and, and focuses on the same question. Polling data is only useful if you keep asking people the same question over time. And it's clear that the values that the American people hold are liberal values. Um, so the idea that by calling someone a liberal, you can take, you're somehow delegitimating their views is exactly the opposite is true. But, you know, it's, it's very hard to, to break through this, this uh, morass of nonsense with, with, with the truth.